Now, see, all of this, you know, when we do hard work, we have that goal in front of us, but Allah puts us different goal. He says, إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ إِنَّكَ كَادِحٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ كَالْحَدِ you are engaged in this act of work rigorously, non-stop, day in and day out, business, business, business. You go to somebody, how's it going? Alhamdulillah, housework, man, it's a lot of work. Yeah, busy, busy, you know. It's always that. What's going on in life? Oh, well, there's this one thing going on. There's this other thing going on. We gotta finish this project. And you take 20 minutes describing the guy, your project that you're about to finish, or this, this new business you're about to start, or this class you're about to take, or this, you know, this term paper you gotta hand in. It's always something. But Allah says these tiny milestones, what ends up happening is you forget where you're headed. You know, you have to go to one, then to the next, then to the next, and you, you, you stop realizing you're actually on a highway, and these are just small stops. Where does this highway end? What's the conclusion? Remember we talked this surah is about inevitability? What's the inevitable? Where are you going to end up? To your Lord. You're headed to your Lord. Whatever you're doing, you're rebelling against Allah, your life is about partying, your, your life is about business, your life is about studies, whatever your life is about, doesn't matter what road you take, they all lead one place. In the end, you are headed towards your Lord. And then Allah says, subhanAllah, فَمُلَاقِي You're headed to your Lord, meaning this, what it really means is, فَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ Standing before your Lord. That's where you, you're ending up. That's your real project. فَمُلَاقِهِ Rough translation means that you are going to meet him for sure. Then as a consequence of this toil, you're going to meet him. Now this work, this laborsome effort that the person is doing, isn't necessarily to please their Lord, they're just doing it for their life. It doesn't matter what you do it for though, you're still headed to your Lord. And you will, one of the translations of فَمُلَاقِهِ is that you will meet him. That you will meet, meaning your Lord. But it's been interpreted other ways also, like a sabuni in Safwat al-Tafasir says, فَمُلَاقٍ kadhak." You're going to meet your own labor. And this has been supported in the Qur'an. You're going to work so hard, maybe you'll see the fruits of your labor, maybe you won't. Even if you do see the fruits of your labor, those aren't really the fruits of your labor. Where do you see the real fruits of your labor? With Allah. That's where they really are. So when you get there, you'll come into contact with what you had been doing. Allah won't show you anything except what you've been doing yourself. وَوَجَدُوا مَا عَمِلُوا حَاضِرًا They will find whatever they did standing right in front of them like a mirror. Everything that they used to work on. So this is the reality that's been depicted in إِنَّكَ كَادِحٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ كَدْحًا فَمُلَاقِي Whether we strive to please our Lord, whether we believe or we disbelieve, we're on this conveyor belt that's moving whether we like it or not. Whether we're sleeping or awake. Whether we're in college or we're working. Whether we're married or unmarried. Whether we're sick or we're healthy. There's no day off. We're constantly moving in that direction. You know, in a real, in a journey in life, you can take a break. You can stop. But there's not a moment that goes by that we're not on this journey. 